Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. This will be on LTCN and BCHG specifically. <clears throat> Reason being is because Bitcoin Cash and uh, Litecoin, as you guys know, uh, which we posted on our X account, you guys can see that. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out. You'll be able to, I think you should be able to find our X link um, on the channel page somewhere. So Anyways, uh, we did point out that BCHG, or sorry, Bitcoin Cash had moved up 50% at the time. It's now up 100% or so. And Litecoin moved up roughly about 30, 35%. And we think as a result of that, that uh, Litecoin and or uh, LTCN and BCHG will go up. So anyways, with that being said, let's get it. So kind of the focus of today's video is going to be, we're going to try to figure out when exactly... LTC and a BCHG start popping off. I think this is important at this point for two reasons. Number one, because Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash just had massive moves, which is kind of crazy because Bitcoin is not even at all time highs yet. That's the first thing. Uh, second thing is because when Bitcoin goes past, typically when Bitcoin goes past its all time high, that's when the entire crypto space really starts taking off. Okay. And as you guys can see on the Bitcoin price, it has pretty much almost hit all time highs. So one thing I want to point out that we did point out on X, as you guys can see here, we are in this bull flag pattern. It uh, looks like Bitcoin might want to break down out of it. But uh, if it does break bullish, obviously we'd head to all time highs. So we'll still have to keep a lookout on that and keep you guys updated on that. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at, <clears throat> excuse me the bitcoin cash trust versus the bitcoin cash underlying cryptocurrency this is uh we're going to be basically looking back in time to see what happened on the previous cycle uh and i just actually noticed that i have bitcoin cash uh the grayscale bitcoin cash pulled up on both of these so sorry about that guys give me a second um, so here is Bitcoin cash on the right and we have Bitcoin cash, the grayscale version on the left. So as you guys can see on the charts, uh, we'll look at Bitcoin cash. So you guys can see that, uh, the Bitcoin cash trust actually started running up before Bitcoin cash even ran up. Um, so it, it would appear that Bitcoin, the grayscale Bitcoin cash trust was, essentially front running the move on Bitcoin cash, which we have not seen this time around. So the uh, BCHG has moved up, but not nearly to this magnitude. And as you guys can see, um, by the time the grayscale Bitcoin trust was about ready to dump off, Bitcoin cash was pushing up to its all time highs. So I would say there's not really a lot of correlation here between these two. Uh, what we need to do is we need to go back and take a look at the price of Bitcoin. So we'll pull up Bitcoin here. <clears throat> because again, uh, November 2020, December 2020, that was roughly around the time in the previous cycle when Bitcoin was pushing past its all-time highs. So as you guys can see, uh, actually, let's let's flip these charts because I have the uh, all of the indicators and stuff on the left. Okay, so here we have pulled up BCHG on the right, Bitcoin on the left, as you guys can see here. Uh, once Bitcoin was pushing up to its all-time highs and past its all-time highs, that's pretty much around the time that Bitcoin Cash peaked. So it would appear that Bitcoin Cash was basically front-running the massive move up um, before Bitcoin actually broke its all-time highs. And of course, the BCHG trust, it would appear, topped out uh, once at an all-time high, right around the time that Bitcoin broke its previous all-time highs. And then the second time it topped out roughly around the peak of uh, Bitcoin's price. So basically at the start of Bitcoin breaking its all-time highs and at the end of its peak was roughly around the time that BCHG topped out. I do want you guys to keep something in mind. This was after the halving happened. So the halving for Bitcoin happened all the way back here in uh, May after the pandemic dump. It was sometime in May of 2020 was when the halving happened. Uh, so the important point to note here is that 
Bitcoin did not start taking off past all time highs and BCHG did not have its peak until after Bitcoin had the halving and Bitcoin's having this year is supposed to be in April of this year. So we're still one entire month off. So with that being said, um, we're now going to go ahead and take a look at LTCN. So we'll do LTCN on the right and then we will go with Litecoin on the left. So LTC on, on the right, Litecoin on the left, as you guys can see once, um, so actually zoom out a little bit here. So you guys can see kind of this downtrend once Litecoin broke this downtrend, then LTCN really started ripping to the moon as you guys can see here. Uh, so LTCN, once it took off from this, uh, we'll say this candle right here, you had one, two, three, four, five, only six weeks until this thing topped out. It was very fast for this thing to top out, roughly about a month and a half, so not much time at all. Uh, but as you guys can see, the underlying, uh, once again, was not even close to its peak by the time um, LTCN topped out. So it would appear that LTCN topped out just as Litecoin had broken its previous downtrend. So when Litecoin was really starting to take off at first, that was the, when the first peak happened and then the second peak happened roughly almost exactly the same price on LTCN uh, once Litecoin had topped out. And that was just on uh, Litecoin's first peak. Obviously, you guys know that Bitcoin made a second higher high and Litecoin made a lower low here. So, uh, But by that time, of course, LTCN was basically at all-time lows. So the thing I want to point out here uh, that I think probably is pretty relevant as you guys can see, LTCN starting to push up here. We're starting to get a slightly more aggressive move. This actually looks like it's going to break to the upside. Um, if I just draw this out real quick, you guys can kind of see that this is a bull flag. Or at least it appears to be a bull flag of some kind, or perhaps a an ascending triangle. We could even say that it's that. So that could also be an ascending triangle as well. Uh, so very bullish break. We pretty much told you guys before that the uh, price for that's going to be about 27 bucks or so, but whether it goes higher than that or not remains to be seen. But the point I want to make here on this is, so Litecoin was in this very, very long kind of downtrend here, whether this ends up playing out for LTCN again. Uh, so as you guys know, on the previous one that we showed you, as soon as Litecoin broke its downtrend, uh, this thing did have a massive, massive move on LTCN. Okay. So it broke it in the immediate short term, as you guys can see. Actually, if we go a little bit further back here, uh, kind of zoom out so you can really see this. But it would appear that, um, so if we kind of draw it like this, it would appear that Litecoin just did have a massive breakout, although it kind of consolidated before it did. So the overall macro downtrend on Litecoin has been broken. Uh, I would say once we get above this resistance at $100, it's probably pretty much on at that point unless Bitcoin dumps. So now we're going to take a look at Bitcoin and compare it to LTCN. So we'll go back once again in history. And we're going to go back on LTCN. So we'll go back on LTCN here. As you guys can see, it kind of really, really got to zoom out to see this. But um, pretty much, I would say it's pretty much looking very similar to the BCHG and Bitcoin comparisons. So as you guys know, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, those are, or uh, yeah, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash, those are oscillators to Bitcoin. So when Bitcoin goes up, these ones tend to follow shortly after. Uh, so it appears that uh, LTCN started running up as soon as Bitcoin broke its previous all-time highs. But once again, after the halving, because the halving was back here in May, uh, this breakout started in November. So presumably towards the end of the year, that would assume if the cycles to were, were to repeat, this wouldn't happen until the end of this year. Um, but as you guys can see on the price of LTCN, we did top out on LTCN as soon as Bitcoin broke its previous all-time highs. And once again, uh, had our second lower peak here, but still a massive move up. As soon as Bitcoin was about ready to dump into its uh, mid-cycle retracement here. So once at the start of Bitcoin's breakout and once at the start of Bitcoin's dump. Very, very similar to BCHG. But once again, it was after the halving. So uh, this is pretty much the 
best, I, I would say the best guesstimate that we could look for is a few things here. Number one, the having, you know, the having after the having next month, uh, potentially Bitcoin breaking its all time highs and also um, just kind of a, a macro break of the downtrend of Bitcoin Cash and, and Litecoin, which we have seen. So one of the, one of those three have come true, but the other two have not. Okay. We have not seen Bitcoin break to new all-time highs yet, and we not we have not seen the halving take place yet. So I would say until then, LTCN probably is not going to go to all-time highs, neither is BCHG, but there could be a massive move next week. Um, of course, if Bitcoin goes to all-time highs before the halving and before the end of the year, that could change everything. So we'll just have to keep a lookout for that. But as of right now, Bitcoin is not at 69,000 plus. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you all later. Peace.